Hello, uh, my name is uh, Yelena Trishova and I'm a program manager at Exact Pro. Uh, in this talk, I'd like to focus on the challenging task of managing complex mixture of information flows when documenting an open source platform. Uh, to start, just a short intro. Uh, I started my career in linguistics, at some point switched to software testing, joined my current employer, and after getting some experience in testing, found myself involved in software testing research and knowledge sharing activities. Uh, last year, I started a technical documentation project, so in this talk, I'll draw on this new experience. Uh, a bit uh, about the knowledge domain I'm working in. Uh, so Exactro is a software testing services provider. We work with financial institutions to test their software from functional and non-functional perspective and to be technically capable to address the complexity of financial technology or financial use cases. Uh, we develop uh, software testing tools to support our service. Some of these tools are open source, and it is one of them that inspired this talk today. Uh, what I hope to cover in this short presentation is, first of all, a general overview of the task of documenting an open source project. Then I will share uh, some of the challenges that we face in our particular case, and uh, we have um, an open source toolkit that we use in software testing performed as part of commercial engagements. And finally, I'll summarize the main ideas around the task of managing multiple documentation uh, information uh, flows uh, within an open source project of documentation. Uh, documentation uh, itself, in general, is an important uh, part of the open source culture. Uh, there are numerous benefits uh, that quality documentation brings to both wider open source, uh, open source ecosystem and organizations themselves. Uh, from the community side, uh, documentation helps people to understand what you do and how they can contribute. For organizations, uh, constantly updated documentation is a way to communicate that their project is alive. Also, high quality documentation is both an indicator of good culture and high productivity, and at the same time, an important factor that contributes to both. Uh, there's also a responsibility aspect. Um, as a rule, uh, that's even something that is expected of a project ma maintainer by default. And uh, maintaining an open source project suggests that uh, you should provide the docs and keep them up to date, and uh, you should treat them um, as being as important as the code. Uh, these uh, points are discussed in numerous surveys and blogs by big technology players. Uh, the example here uh, on the slide is taken from uh, last year's DORA report on the state of the DevOps. Uh, a more recent report um, shows uh, a bit different trend, but I'll comment on this uh, a, a little bit later. What's important here is that, that uh, this data that shows uh, a, high, uh, a high correlation between documentation quality and the development uh, team's performance. Okay, so the benefits of documentation are evident, but uh, there's a certain price to pay. Uh, it is always additional time, uh, additional effort, extra resources to be allocated and to be managed. Um, keeping uh, documentation up to date uh, is um, as uh, the code evolves. It's uh, yet another task. And another challenge uh, with uh, open, source, uh, open source software docs uh, is lack of real world uh, examples that will tell user story and showcase the project's value. These are the challenges um, that uh, surround uh, the task of document documenting open source software in general. As uh, for those uh, of the open source projects uh, that exist uh, in parallel, with uh, some domain, domain specific implementation. Uh, in our case, this is financial technology domain. Uh, here I will be drawing uh, upon my team's experience with documenting uh, one of the frameworks that support 
uh, our company's uh, testing service. Uh, the platform is called CH2, and uh, its main purpose is to be used uh, to test complex financial technology used in trading, clearing, payments, um, and other domains of the financial technology industry. Uh, critical components of the platform are open source, and um, at the same time, uh, the tools, um, microservices based architecture allows uh, creation of additional components uh, that will be can be uh, customized, tailored to domain specific or client specific, uh, business logic, API, data protocols, etc. So, uh, in uh, this uh, case, uh, apparently, the uh, very first challenge is to manage the information flows uh, related to uh, genetic framework versus uh, business implementation. Uh, on top of that, we have to deal uh, also with different target audiences. Uh, in our case, that means that for uh, every piece of documentation, we need to decide for ourselves whether we address a software developer here or uh, whether we target our information at a certain business user. Also, more thought uh, is to be put into the nature of uh, the facts that uh, are delivered in documentation. Um, so, uh, for example, structural details uh, should be separated from scenario-based examples. And um, in this respect, uh, so the uh, usage examples, again, uh, will be different, very different for, uh, for the open source uh, edition, as we will need to resort to some synthetic examples rather than real data, even if we have multiple client use cases at hand, uh, because even, even if we obfuscate the data, uh, it still can contain traces of commercially or legally sensitive information. Um, as a result, uh, of course, we should expect some differences in how the reader interacts with the project documentation, uh, on a larger scale, this can lead to evolution of developer targeted part of documentation towards more uh, automated approach, uh, and uh, it, the documentation can transition closer to the uh, code itself, um, which is actually reflected in this uh, year's report, um, uh, DORA report. So this is exactly the trend uh, over this year. And in this case, uh, a decision is to be made whether you choose to maintain this common core uh, of documentation as parallel documentation structures that target both business user and developer uh, and developers, uh, or you may want to make them fundamentally different. For example, you can uh, have uh, one documentation repository uh, created according to uh, the uh, DOCSIS code paradigm, uh, and at the same time, you can uh, maintain several um, se several uh, documents, like several um, different uh, repositories with uh, documentation that is created in line um, uh, within a code as docs approach. So this leads to the following picture uh, of the uh, decision-making process. Uh, when you document an open source technology and at the same time, you have to think uh, how you'd organize the same knowledge uh, within a domain-specific like commercial project, you can't understand that different information flows are at play. The way they interact uh, will uh, have a great impact on the documentation approach. Uh, let's reiterate those flows and their uh, interconnections. So first of all, uh, as I mentioned, it is important, it is extremely important to separate the facts about framework from those related to uh, the potential solution, potential implementation. Uh, both flows um, uh, of facts will be documented differently uh, and uh, this documentation uh, approach will uh, be depending on other factors. For example, uh, microservices-based architectures will allow uh, more flexibility as it compares with monolithic ones uh, when it comes to separating uh, the information flows uh, related to different modules. Next is uh, the question of uh, development model. Uh, as um, 
so as we need to choose uh, which facts are shared, which are uh, to be stored privately. Again, this is highly dependent on the uh, relationship between framework uh, versus solution and the architectural design. Yet another question is uh, the one um, about examples, as I mentioned again. So this is our, uh, these are code snippets, diagrams, scenario paths. Uh, again, even uh, if we describe some generic part, or some generic things, um, the docs should be additionally monitored for traces of this client data or maybe implementation specific details uh, that can reveal sensitive information. Uh, best if such things are created from scratch specifically for the open source part and maybe using even synthetic data rather than the realistic one. Uh, target audience is uh, yet another variable here um, with open source uh, audience leaning towards development and private code um, that is intended for both developers and um, decision makers. Uh, decision makers. Finally, the uh, documentation approach itself uh, that depends on both audience and architecture. Uh, while uh, again, developers are shifting towards more automation, as per the GitLab 2022 Global DevSecOps survey, uh, they uh, opt for documenting their code in line, which means maximum proximity of docs uh, to the actual code. This approach will work very well with microservices-based frameworks too. Uh, when the project leads several lives in public and private domains, uh, one may opt for a, a doc ops approach, generating the documentation from separate docs dedicated repository, or combine both approaches, communicating different facts in technically different ways. And uh, to wrap it up, uh, a couple of principles that are stemming from this information flow schema. Uh, first of all, uh, the documentation strategy needs to be aligned um, uh, with um, the strategy of development or maintenance of the code itself. Um, second point is about the nature of information, like specific versus generic one uh, actually impacts the way uh, how the documentation should be organized. Uh, and the uh, last point is that uh, the usage context, uh, the um, audience, target audience context influences the decision uh, of how the docs, uh, how close the docs will be leaving um, to actual code implementations. Again, uh, multiple factors at play here, uh, but the solution, the result is worth the effort. Any high quality project, especially one that combines open source and proprietary pieces of software, needs a sound documentation strategy uh, that considers docs to be equally important as um, code itself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions I'm happy to discuss, please feel free to drop me a line. Thank you.